This is, this is the most magnificent thing about the Torah is the first five books of the Bible, as you and I know. And the Torah is Genesis, Exodus, uh, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. If you look at the Torah, the very first words in Genesis, in the beginning, it's uh, Bereshit is the way it's said in Hebrew. The last letter, Bereshit, is Tav. Okay, now Tav is the first letter in Torah. If you go every 50 letters in the book of Genesis, you will get the spelling of Torah. Hmm. Every 50 letters. If you go to Exodus, if you go every 50 letters, you get the spelling of Torah. If you skip Leviticus and go to Numbers, you go every 49 letters and you get Torah spelt backwards. And if you go to Deuteronomy, every 49 letters, you get Torah spent backwards. Why? They're both pointing to Leviticus. In Leviticus, every seven letters, you will get the spelling of Yahweh. Y-H-V-H. Every seven letters throughout the entire book of Leviticus, because Leviticus shows it would take the sacrifice of the perfect Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, to atone our sins. I mean, that's amazing. It, it, we didn't yeah. discover that until we had computers and later. And so this is a, a wonderful thing to show that it was divinely inspired, every single word, not one jot or tittle. Yeah. Jesus said, of this word will pass away. The stars, look in the skies at night. Look at the stars, look at the moon. Jesus said it's easier for those stars and that moon and that sun to completely be dissolved and pass away than for one jot or tittle of my word. And that, which we just talked about, Scott, that shows it. It's divine. No man could have yeah. ever have done that.